Meghan Markle and her father Thomas Markle relationship complex. The Duchess bond with her dad Thomas Markle was royally strained long before he began his current press campaign. Plunged into the spotlight for the first time, with no idea how to cope, Thomas Markle turned to a man well versed in notoriety. Over a series of chats, his future son-in-law, Prince Harry, along with his daughter Meghan Markle, stressed the importance of not engaging. For the most part, it was always, don't speak to the press. He explained without a single trace of irony while giving his first tell-all interview to newspaper this past June. They were very emphatic about not giving any information to the press or talking to them because it just encourages them more. So, nonetheless, that's what I try to do. But a year of seeing unflattering images of him buying cans of beer or taking the trash out of his home in Rosarito, Mexico began to wear and soon he put forth his infamous plan to have photographers snap staged pictures of him. Obviously that all went to hell, he admitted, and I feel bad about it. I apologized for it and that's all I can do. I can't do much beyond that. Well, he probably could have chosen not to do it again. Or another time after that. Or the most recent interview, published in newspaper on Sunday this past weekend. It began with him riffing on everything from Harry's thoughts on Brexit, to how he gave his blessing for the pair to wed, I said, you're a gentleman. Promise me you'll never raise your hand against my daughter. Then transitioned to him openly mocking his daughter's new kin, calling Kensington Palace a breeding ground for Stepford wives and Scientologists. Then the 74-year-old retired lighting director went fully hostile, basically telling the Mail on Sunday his little girl was an ungrateful brat. What riles me is Meghan's sense of superiority, he griped to the paper. She'd be nothing without me. I made her the duchess she is today. Everything that Meghan is, I made her. He went on to list his proof, payments he shelled out for her private schooling and a trip abroad. And did I get any recognition for it? Any thanks? He wondered. She doesn't even speak to me now. How cold is that? Now, amazingly enough, while speaking to the same outlet he seems baffled by what he calls their wall of silence. He's texted, sent letters via her old publicist in LA. And even sent a pleading, hand-delivered note to ex-wife Doria Ragland, everything has been met with stony silence. And while he insisted he and the 39-year-old actress turned royal never had any issues, the relationship certainly seemed tenuous well before Thomas grabbed hold of that images of Britain book and posed for his first staged photograph. As with most parental relationships, everything started out well. To hear Meghan tell it, her early days growing up in LA's San Fernando Valley were downright idyllic. Having crossed paths on a soap opera set in the late 1970s, I like to think he was drawn to her sweet eyes and her afro, plus their shared love of antiques. Markel wrote in an essay for LUK, her lighting director father and studio temp mother wed, welcomed Meghan and settled into a leafy suburban neighborhood in short order. The overwhelmingly white area was far from diverse, but Thomas took strides to shield his youngest daughter from any discrimination. It was called the Hot Family and included a mom doll, a dad doll, and two children. This perfect nuclear family was only sold in sets of white dolls or black dolls. I don't remember coveting one over the other, I just wanted one. On Christmas morning, swathed in glitter flecked wrapping paper, there I found my heart family, a black mom doll, a white dad doll, and a child in each color. My dad had taken the sets apart and customized my family. So while her mom was fending off stares from the neighbors as she held her light-skinned child, Megan was blissfully ignorant to the fact that she was somewhat unlike her peers. Even after they divorced, Megan's parents took pains not to upend her world. Most of the time, she lived with her mom, yoga teacher and social worker Doria Ragland, the relationship so close Megan named her one of the ten women who changed my life. He fostered her creativity in other ways, too. When she got into the theatre scene at Immaculate Heart, Thomas volunteered to craft sets for their plays, a former classmate revealed to people. And he would volunteer his time even after Megan graduated. She was close with her parents. They were affectionate. Still, as a source told people their relationship could be rollercoaster-like with ups and downs over the year. And in the months before she left for Northwestern University, where she would double major in theater and international relations, they seemed to be on the decline. 
By the time she landed her breakout role in Suits in 2011, after bit parts on the League in 90,210, they were back on the ascent. In her 2017 Vanity Fair profile, Megan spoke about how both parents offered emotional support as they watched her audition and try to make ends meet, taking all the odds and ends jobs to pay my bills. As a Hollywood vet, she said, her dad was especially chuffed when she landed the USA legal drama. My father knew how hard it is for an actor to get work, she said, so he above all people was so proud that I was about to beat the odds. Though Thomas had moved south of the border, the San Diego Union Tribune reported he lives in an oceanfront gated community with other American expats, and Megan was stationed in Toronto, he'd offer his well honed expertise from afar. And in a 2016 Father's Day post on her since deleted Instagram account she credited him with providing a slew of her best trays, writing. Thanks for my work ethic, my love of Busby Barkley films and club sandwiches, for teaching me the importance of handwritten thank you notes, and for giving me that signature Markel knows. I love you. The relationship was one of give and take, with Megan offering her own type of assistance over the years. Though the L.A and by Thomas' own account, she was eager to welcome him into her new royal fold. Ahead of his planned role in the 19th of May nuptials, she arranged for him to have fittings at Beverly Hills Ateliers. I was excited about it and ready for it, he said of walking Meghan down the aisle in his the 18th of June Good Morning Britain interview. It was all set in place for me to go. After all, Thomas' biggest crime was wanting to appear worthy of his little princess. This was a presentation to me to change my image because for the last year photographs of me were always derogatory, he explained. And what was merely indefensible in June became downright apparent by fall as Thomas continued waging verbal war against the palace. Though he seemed to take a brief hiatus, the interviews started up again not long after he learned, via radio report, that Meghan and Harry were expecting. Thomas seems incapable of even learning what is our... Throughout the interview he seems intent on clearing up the lies about him being peddled across the internet, hospital discharge letters proving that he did, in fact, have a heart attack. A photograph showing he was at Meghan's first 2011 wedding to film producer Trevor Engelson, as if those are the reasons his daughter has shut him out. He also rejects the idea that he's the one feeding negative stories to the press, people make things up and my daughter and her husband believe the lies, the one thing they told me never to do. They think I'm giving hundreds of interviews. That's rubbish. To Thomas it seems the main goal is to prove that they were once tight and, thus, he's not the one at fault for their feud. Double quote. People are trying to rewrite history, he said. Meghan and I were as close as a father and daughter could be right up until her wedding to Harry. Then it all fell apart. In short, Meghan and Thomas Markel are a complicated relationship without explanation yet. Perhaps time will help them better understand each other and bond together. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.